Okay, let's continue with our lesson. Okay, well, let's take a look at this uh, simulation that I have over here. Okay, we'll look at this um, diagram itself. Okay, you'll notice that what is going on over here? What is this actually? This is actually water. Okay, this is actually water. Okay, and if you look at the temperature, currently it's at 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, water exists in the liquid state. Okay, when it exists in the liquid state, okay, you'll notice that in the liquid state itself, the molecules itself are randomly arranged. Okay, they are randomly arranged. At the same time, they are still closely packed. Okay, they are still closely packed. But okay, let's recall what we talked about in internal energy. Okay, when we talk about internal energy, there are two components. One is the Ke and the other is the Pe. Okay, if you look at the Ke right now, you observe. I want all of you to take a moment to take a look at the vibrations and the motions of the liquid molecules. Okay, and just remember it. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually increase the temperature from 4 degrees Celsius to maybe about 80 degrees Celsius by heating it. And I want you to observe the motion. Not only just observe the motion, observe the, uh, the space between the molecules. Let me heat it up. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, around 93 degrees Celsius. Okay, you notice at 93 degrees Celsius. Take a look. Once again, now take a look at the water molecules. What happened to the motion? Okay, you actually notice that the motion actually increases. In other words, the velocity or the speed of the molecules actually goes up. So what can you say about the Ke? Will the Ke remain the same? Or will the Ke change? In fact, Ke, the formula is half mv squared. So when your velocity goes up, your Ke will also go up as well. How about the potential energy? As we mentioned before, potential energy depends on the intermolecular bonds. If you look very carefully, are the water molecules still very closely packed? Yes, they are. So there's not much change in terms of the intermolecular bonds, the potential energy. So in other words, we can actually conclude that when we increase our temperature, what happened? Your internal energy actually goes up. But which component of the internal energy? Is only the kinetic energy. So in other words, when temperature goes up, it affects the kinetic energy of the molecules. In fact, the average kinetic energy rise, resulting in a total internal energy going up as well. But at this moment, it will not affect your potential energy. Okay, let me stop here.